Hi guys, how is it going? And welcome back to another video. It has been a long time since I've sat down and recorded the video. Just to say, I do have the England flags up. Obviously, the Euros, it's coming home. Um, I did film a Euros video. Well, I say, I say film. Uh, the camera wasn't on. Well, it wasn't recording. So, I filmed a 15-minute video. It took about 25 minutes to do it. It wasn't filming. Lovely stuff. Anyway... Uh, today, we've made a signing. It's about time. Uh, we have signed ex-goalkeeper uh, from the 1920 season, Owen Evans. I am so glad to see him back, honestly. We needed a replacement for Griffiths. And we've got it. And what a way to do it as well. With a player who did very well for us in that first leg of the playoff. Got the man of the match. And yeah, um, very happy about that, but I'll be talking more about that in this video. It's only going to be a short one, but your guys' views will be in it as always. And uh, yeah, it's good to be back from another video, but yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so Owen Evans returns to Cheltenham on a permanent deal uh, after his impressive loan spell in the 2019 to 2020 season, of which he played 13 games, keeping five clean sheets. Now, obviously. One of those um, was against Northampton in the first leg at their place of the playoffs. Obviously, the result didn't end how we wanted it to, but he did produce a man of the match performance. And yeah, he saved the penalty um, that Ryan Broom gave away. He was also rumoured to be joining us back, so that'll be good to see. Um, but yeah, he was fantastic uh, in the time that he was with us. And I think, to be honest, if you give him a full season... It is in League 1, but he's proven himself in League 2. He was a very, very, very good shot stopper in uh, League 2 for the time that he was with us. Five clean sheets in 13 games is impressive for a side that, you know, wasn't too consistent in the 2019-20 season. And I think, you know, this season we had a much more solid backline. And yes, we probably conceded a similar amount in these last two seasons, but I think there's a big difference in... The defence in terms of ball has been a lot better. Toes has been incredible. Um, Blair's been fantastic since he came in. Hussey has just had another incredible season. Obviously with that free kick helping us to win promotion against Carlisle as well, which was absolutely class. Um, but yeah, he joins Cheltenham after he turned down a contract offer with club Wigan Athletic. I'm pretty sure his contract did... Uh, run out at the end of this month so it was going to run out on the 30th i do believe um so obviously the club had offered him a new contract and he rejected it he had only made five appearances for them last season three of which in the fl trophy one in league one um and one in the fa cup so yeah i didn't really get game time and to be honest for someone his age 24 years of age you know he's got potential he needs to move to a different club where he's going to get played and I think we're the perfect club for him he's played here before and we needed a goalkeeper obviously after Josh Griffith's uh loan came to a close um but yeah he, he decided to pursue other opportunities and we've been the only club going for him it's actually the rumors circulated very quickly I think it was about uh, probably around 24 hours ago that the rumors started circulating that we were going to sign him and that there was going to be a medical and that medical happened today, and it's already been confirmed by John Palmer. Um, yeah, it's all happened very quickly, and I'm glad to see that the club have got a signing through at this uh, speed. But yeah, he also replaces last season's shot-stopping loanee, Josh Griffiths, like I say, who we were also heavily linked with uh, re-signing on another loan for next season from West Brom uh, at the start of the window. However, interest from other clubs, the likes of Portsmouth, Lincoln... You know, for someone his age, you're not going to turn them down. And I don't blame him because at the end of the day, yes, he enjoyed his time here. And yes, he was a fan favourite here. You know, the second most clean sheets in the league for a 19-year-old. That is very, very impressive. And, you know, I don't blame him at all for not wanting to come back because, you know, he could potentially, if he goes on to join Pompey or he goes on to join Lincoln, you know, they could be potentially going up to the Championship. Obviously, what a season Lincoln had uh, this season. And obviously, both clubs will be going for it again next season. So, I think it's probably the best option for him leaving, uh, not coming back rather. And obviously, after the Griffiths rumours from other clubs started circulating, I think, 
you know, we all knew that he wasn't going to come back. And the club decided to pursue different opportunities. Obviously, in this case, Owen Evans. And he is back. I'm so glad that he's on a permanent signing because he was fantastic on his loan. And I would like to see him stay for another couple of years at the very least. But yeah, now it is time for your guys' opinion. So let's get into that. Alright, so I've only picked out a few of your guys' opinions. Uh, I did have to get this video done quite quickly, so I do apologise uh, if yours didn't get included. But I've picked out probably the three most in-depth ones. Um, so yeah, first person says, good replacement for Griffiths, very happy. Um, yeah, hit the nail on the head there. Yeah, it's what we needed. Um, I think a keep was our priority for this window. Obviously... We're going to probably need to make a few more signings, at least two or three, I'd say. We are a club that needs to make loan signings. We can't afford all the permanents for every player. Um, so, yeah, like you say, very, very good replacement. Uh, next one says, bags of potential, proved his ability before, great bit of business. And also, it's on a free transfer. So, he's young, he's proved his ability before, like you say, and he's on a free transfer. If he plays well and we do go on to sell him, there's profit there to be made, but it's not just that, it's the fact that he he could be a really, really good player for us. And I'm glad to see that we've gone for someone familiar to us, because for a loan signing of someone that young, you want you wanna know who they are. You wanna know you wanna be confident in, you know, how they're gonna play. And he's proved his ability before. And yeah, I think this is a very, very good signing, and especially on a free transfer. Finally, someone else says, glad we got our act together to sign a keeper first, was what we needed, welcome Owen, and yeah, we did need to sign a keeper first, because obviously, Griffiths, one of the best players in the team last season, even though he was a goalkeeper, um, need to be replaced, there's a lot of, you know, competition in the market for goalkeepers, um, yeah, so now I'd say move on to maybe a midfielder, because that was where a lot of our lone players were, but yeah, I'm glad we got that done. Now we can, you know, look forward to the rest of the window to see who we sign. Hopefully we can sign one or two creative players. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. Apologies, it was a short one. But yeah, I'll be back with more videos over the next few uh, days and weeks. But yeah, thank you all for watching. Have a class rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one.